Building a stronger financial foundation? Good plan. Northwestern Mutual's Guide to Good Financial Planning can help you balance spending and saving, set goals, and start creating the life you want to be living. You'll learn how the tools in your financial plan reinforce each other to help you minimize taxes and offset potential risks. Grow your confidence by strengthening your finances today at northwesternmutual.com slash good plan. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies, and this This is is the Deck to Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Oh, oh yeah! It's really great to be here again. It's really great to be here again. It's really great to be here again. It's here with your best friends. Wow, we crushed Boy, that, that song so good. on the fly. We crushed Man. that song. I love it when we all sing together. You know what's great is we never make a mistake around here. Mm-mm. Flawless. Don't Mm-mm. do it. Uh, do you think we might be the best podcast ever? Ooh, I think so. Yeah, I think, well, we're, you can vote bestpodcastever.com. Slash vote, vote, vote. Slash vote, vote, vote. And so hopefully we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. get those votes. We'll get the results. Boys, how you doing? It's doing a, amazing. It is a, uh, it's a Tuesday. I'm here. We're, I'm we're, ready to talk about the troops. USA. 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 Rudy. Rudy. Um, guys, uh, what you got? What you guys do last night? Did you have a good time? Oh, we had a great mm. weekend of eating. That was con. Uh, we were the Christmas con, by the way. Uh, and uh, in New Jersey with my friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Eating, but feasting, I was asking and how your night up. was last night. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was solid. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm happy to be back at it. That's I can exactly tell you that. Right. That's exactly right. Uh, we'll be here all week covering all your favorite movies that you watched this past weekend if you weren't at the Christmas con. Mm. Um, but we were, and we had a wonderful time. And uh, Seeing our friends. Seeing our friends. Our, our nice good, to be there. Friends. Um, guys, we got a couple of uh, mm-hmm, housekeeping things to do before we get to <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, Panda, no one does it better than you. Tell everybody all the things that they should do if they're not already doing it. Uh, first of all, you need to join our patreon our patreon is an amazing group of people great individuals you can join for as little as four dollars a month uh you're going to get a lot of extras a lot of freebies uh there's even a tier in there where you can join our awesome community on facebook Mm. uh you'll get a chance to interact with some of the stars alonzo duraldi uh chris palaha uh as well as several others and not to mention us as well we're on there real star how do you go about getting there uh you go to patreon.com slash deck the hallmark excellent and uh the other thing you should do is if you haven't already done so uh, rate and review us on iTunes. Absolutely. Uh, and in fact, our reviews are going to be a little bit more meaningful uh, this Christmas That's season. Right. We'll get more, to that a little bit later, though. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe you've already left a review. Buy a new phone. Create a new yeah. Apple ID. Yeah. yeah. Totally Do it. Leave a new review. Your yes. iTunes reviews can legitimately help change a life uh, this holiday season. More. That's 100% true. More on that mm. later. Well, I, I need to... More. Hey, I need to stop. More. More. Um, guys, we have uh, a movie to talk about today <laughs> that, if we're not careful, has the uh, mm-hmm. ability to uh, become possibly, offensive. possibly uh, save this world. This is the. That's how uh, good this movie is. Yeah. Uh, I thought you meant we're no. going to do the standard disclaimer. No, we're going to do the disclaimer we anyway. Do you, why don't you yeah. go ahead and do the disclaimer? Uh, anytime Dan. we talk about a movie about the troops, uh, it's a little dicey because Hallmark is going to propagandize you to death. And I don't mean propagandize you about the United States. I mean, they're going to push feels a lot. But in the process, sometimes the movie can be hokey. We want to be very clear. Not only do we love our troops and support our troops, but just the idea that we get to do this um, and, and poke a little fun at these movies should never, ever interfere or come into um, existence with the fact that we love the troops. So anything we say is just for the movie. It's not because we feel exactly any differently right. about the, um, our armed forces. We are talking about Holiday for Heroes. Yeah. It originally aired on November 8th, 2019. And it went a little something like this. 
Audrey creates her own coffee bean. She roasts them. She sends them overseas to the troops. And she becomes pen pals with Matt. He is in the army. And they have been writing back and forth for over a year. Mm. Uh, he writes that he's uh, going to be coming to her town um, uh, to meet her. But that letter gets lost. It never shows up. So he just shows up uh, and meets her. And it's awesome. She's surprised. And he's like, didn't you get my letter? And she's like, no. And then it's, oh, it's great. Um, he tells her that he is going to be stationed here. And so obviously they're going to be falling in love. Um, he overhears or oversees Audrey talking to another guy. And so he gets super jealous and it's only been 15 minutes. Uh, we then find out that uh, a lot of the troops uh, won't be coming home for Christmas. The town cancels the annual holiday for Heroes events and everybody's super bummed. And so Audrey takes matters into her own hands. She's not okay with it. And so she's working out a way to figure out how she can encourage the troops this holiday season. It's great. Uh, Matt Matt makes Audrey some s'mores, and it's adorable. And after complaining about the ice skating rink not being Christmassy enough, he decorates it like crazy. They go skating together, they shoot some pucks, and it's just an all-around fantastic time. Uh, his letter uh, finally comes in the mail, and it tells her that she that he's only going to be in town for 30 days, and that makes her very, very sad. Uh, he helps uh, put up their Christmas tree. They slow dance. It's amazing. It's romantic. Uh, it's the day of the Holidays for Heroes event. And the, the event space that they booked uh, was double booked. And so they have to cancel the event. Uh, and uh, Double Downer, uh, he finds out that the army wants him to re-enlist with a promotion. And it's going to be really tough to turn that down. So, remember that other guy? He's this amazing real estate agent named Luke who is really into Audrey. Uh, he's an incredible guy. Any woman would be lucky to end up with him. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, anyways, Matt walks in, sees Luke put his hand um, on top of Audrey's hand, and he's like, Ugh, and he walks out. He ends up getting a job uh, offered to stay in town to teach, and he's like, well, what's the point of that if I can't be with her? So she's not even, uh, she, she's, he's like, he's just not even interested. I don't know what to do. And so they, they talk about it. They talk about what's going on. They talk about what he saw. And she's like, listen, nothing's going on there. And so he decides to tell her how he feels. And she's like, I love you, but I'm not going to ask you to stay. And he says, I can't leave without giving this a chance. And that's when I tear up. Uh, they think that they're going to kiss, but they don't. He's like, I got more surprises, and he leaves. Uh, listen, uh, at the Holiday for Heroes events, the town announces that they're going to chip in and help Audrey expand her coffee shop. There's a toy soldier dance, and one of the toy soldiers is Audrey's brothers, uh, and then all the troops come home. It's wonderful. <laughs> they come home, and they dance. Audrey and Matt kiss and that my friends was the holiday, holiday for heroes so we did it all the troops came home is what you're saying all of it well in the town they brought them all home <laughs> all of the we troops. brought them all home gang you know what 500 I mean. military bases around the world <laughs> no there's there's ron paul was elected president <laughs> all the troops come home and that my friends <laughs> there's no way for us to actually know that they didn't all come home uh, all of the troops that live in that town came home and so certainly yeah. if was, not then there's an inordinate amount of uh, troops that are from Branford. Yes. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is great. Military capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you've heard. Uh, we have four segments on this show uh, that help us talk about what we thought about this movie and to break it down. And we always start with the hot take. It is where we, in no uncertain terms, mm. tell everybody about how we felt about this movie. Panda, go ahead. Oh, my gosh. I, can I just say, I know he gets to go first, but... I it think is, you should, dude. I is, really do. I, I want to defer. It is going to be such a love fest for this movie. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit through it. Go ahead. Go. Go. Go ahead, Brian. You uh, start us off. Well, so first of all, best movie of the year so far. Um, it's phenomenal. I legit teared up. I legit got chills. It was by and large. A flawless Hallmark movie. If you're putting it in a top, is this this I, like all time for you? 
Um, is this an all-time great? I need to sit on. It. I mean, I just I, I just watched it, and so yeah. I don't want to. He was euphoric. I don't get it. But I loved I loved this movie. It in fact it took me a really long time to even get away. What you had to borrow one. I had to borrow one from me. Said, Guys, I don't have any. Uh, so clearly, all in on this movie. Uh, I, I'd be hard pressed to find a movie later this season. Like, it's going to be really tough for a movie to take this out of the number one for me. But I, 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 I better I than anything that. you saw last season. Better than anything I saw last season. Better than anything I saw last. Wow. Season. No, no movie gave me more more feels for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, than, yeah. Than yeah, this yeah. Movie. Um, so yeah, best movie of the year so far. Um, and not just Christmas movie, best Hallmark movie of the year so far, um, and uh, possibly the best cinematic masterpiece I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> Panda, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, when you think of a Hallmark Christmas movie, this is to me the quintessential Hallmark Christmas film. It was nostalgic to me of a throwback to. Hallmark movies that I used to watch growing up. It captured the feel of some of the older Hallmark films. Uh, and I use that term film. I love this movie. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. Uh, it is my number one for the year. It is the best Hallmark Christmas movie we have seen so far and reviewed on this podcast. Uh, it is great. I, I th- Are there some cheesy moments? Sure. Uh, are there some wait what's in there? A few. But by and large, this is a movie that makes America cinema proud. Uh, <laughs> and that honestly, Bran, uh, it makes me glad we're doing this podcast. It has restored hope to me yeah. once wow. again. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'm going to have a good Christmas. So this your year. Re- reaction was what I thought I was going to get from Bran. <laughs> uh, uh, and, I, and I also want to say um, this movie is clearly a... Uh, a better, a, a way superior version of the Christmas card, now, I, which for years people have been saying, this is the best Hallmark movie ever. I've, I've seen it many a times. We've reviewed it. Personally, not for me. This movie yes. is a exponentially better. Exponentially. Exponentially no. better. No, 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 no. You can be expedient. You can have ex- be exponentially better. Exponentially no, this better. this movie's so good, it can have both. Wow. Dan, I did have take a, every, uh, take a, a little down. note here that said uh, this movie should be called Christmas Card Two: No Logs. <laughs> and that's just log says that's them. just funny for me. Um, <laughs> look, I I don't want to be that guy. I don't. Then don't. Um, I'll start with the good. Um, everyone involved in this movie knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. The director, the actors, the writer, they know exactly what they're doing. And they uh, they have found that little nugget sweet spot that every Hallmark movie hopes to have one or two. And they are just hammering it like there's no tomorrow. And because of that, and this may be just a me problem. I do, I do not give a lot of credit to the movies that literally just swing for the feels every single scene. And boy... Does this movie swing for the feels every single scene? It was exhausting how many times they wanted you to feel something. Are there some great feels in this movie? Yes, there are. Are there some good moments? Yes. But boy, we have the way they portray soldiers in this movie is absurd. When soldiers are off the clock, they do not still talk in soldier terms. They're going to get this 10 4. I got your sick soldier. It's weird. Right. Second of all, they have they like they want to show you like what they believe Hallmark viewers think soldiers are doing overseas, which is Skyping, drinking hot chocolate, uh, being in a Middle Easterner's home with some coffee. And like it like so much of this movie worked so much of this movie didn't work. And then lastly, I think this is the ultimate sin for me. They have an amazing scene in this movie, and it's the second to last scene in the coffee shop. He comes in, Mm -hmm. he gives her the gift. That scene is great. It is a great, you heard it here. It's a great scene. If the movie ends with that scene, it it really does work a lot better for me. But no, they can't just do it. They got to go and find money out of nowhere. And they got to bring the troop home. Then they got to bring all the troops home. And it just is too much. It's over the top. And for that reason, still falls squarely in the bad category. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, aside from all the feels, it's part of the show we're talking about what this movie gave us the feels. Uh, aside from all of it, um, the uh, opening sequence of this movie, and let me paint this picture in case you haven't seen it. It is uh, it is a uh, a sequence that um, for three to four minutes 
it is them writing letters back and forth throughout mm-hmm. the period of a year. It's showing him uh, doing different things and uh, uh, at war overseas. Um, she's writing the letters. You you can see him uh, finding some sort of uh, peace while he's reading her letters, writing the letters. Uh, it's the best opening sequence of a homework movie I've ever seen. I've never been so uh, immediately into a movie, a homework movie, than I was with with this movie. The sequence uh, was was fantastic, and the way that they told a story, a year long story, in that uh, amount of time was fantastic. I loved it, and I uh, immediately um, uh, felt connected to both of those characters in such a small town uh, time. It was a it was great storytelling. It was a great sequence, and it gave me feels immediately right off the bat. So great, great on them, Panda. There, there's so many in this mm-hmm. movie, but uh, when he decorates the ice rink and then he has her open her eyes and then the music hits uh, just right at that moment, I, I got I, I got feels. Uh, I think both leads are so endearing mm-hmm. together in this movie that I just like I, I would every scene to me with them together, which is pretty much every scene uh, is just magnetic. I loved it. Got got feels throughout. I got two. Um, one, uh, Gomi from Breaking Bad, Stephen Michael Quezada, I believe is how you say his name. Um, he is this over the top love of Christmas, daughters in the military, Latino flair dude. And he, it, it's everything that shouldn't work in one of these movies where he speaks American English and then goes tamales or something like that. But because, and it's not fair because if you watch him on Breaking Bad, you know that he's a serious character has to deal with some yep. really dark stuff. He, He's not Magoo and, and Goofy in real life. And so in this movie, him being Goofy just brought a real smile to my face. Yeah. When I think if I don't know the actor, it probably I hate it. So there's that. And then, guys, the scene in the in the coffee shop. Um, oh. So they write back and forth about how she thinks Christmas should be all year long. And she also has a bit about angels on the tree. He brings her a box of homemade angels, 12. All of them are labeled different months. So A, Christmas all year long, and they've been writing for a year. And then he says, when I was overseas, you were my angel. That that scene is a, is is kind of an all time scene. Yeah. It's an all time good scene. It's great uh, think, in Hallmark I movies. I think yeah. there might be some people out there that think that I do play up my love for these movies. No, and he like, was crying, guys. I was. I, I, I had tears. tears, and so it yeah. wor- it, it worked. It was great. I was not crying, but I had a huge smile on my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could have cried though. I probably could have gotten there. Yeah, you I love I love this movie. Yeah, I love this couple. Yeah. Um, and speaking of all the feels, we do have an all the feels partner this season that gives us the feels and we want to uh, give feels to students around the country, um, give them a little bit of an extra push, a nudge, a hey, you can do this. And that's what Communities and Schools does. And we're supporting them again this holiday season. And we have many different ways that you can give. Maybe you're like, hey, it sounds great, uh, but I just don't have it in the budget to donate to Communities and Schools. Get that. Totally get that. We've made it possible for you to still give back. Uh, for every iTunes review now through the end of the year, we're giving a dollar to communities and schools. We would love for that to be $500, $600, $1,000 just by uh, reviews. You don't have to pay anything to do that. Uh, you just need to uh, to have iTunes and to have a review to leave a review. Um, so that's one way that we, you can do that. You can also go to deckthehallmark.com slash joy, um, and you can buy a, a, a shirt, a Deck the Hallmark yeah. shirt if, that uh, that. Dan Right if now. you're watching us on Friendly TV, which is where we're broadcast uh, for all of our episodes, FriendlyTV.com slash DTH, you will see that I'm wearing not my usual black and gray, but a festive green Deck to Hallmark t-shirt. Look, guys, if you want to buy a t-shirt and haven't decided which one, you can go to the website, not Tee Public. This is the only shirt we're doing on our website. You can buy this t-shirt. We're going to pay for the cost of the shirt, cost of the shipping, and then the proceeds are going to go to communities and schools. Leave a review, buy a shirt, or just go to deckthehallmark.com slash joy, and you can give and give generously, helping kids stay in school and have the transformative experience of graduating high school. That's exactly right. So thank you. Thank you for mm-hmm. continuing to give back. Um, it's time for the wait what part of the show. It's where we talk about what in this movie made us go away. What boy, did I have a hard time because uh, this movie is uh, just, just fantastic. Um, Panda, uh, did you manage to find some? Were you able to, were just you able to make it happen? Just a handful, man. Uh, the first one is uh, during one of the hockey practices. Uh, if you've ever seen a, a hockey, hockey ring yeah, in general, uh, you know that traditionally practices are not going to be held 
on the short sides of the rink, That's which right. is exactly where they yeah. end up having the kids skate back and forth and actually practice, which doesn't make a- any sense yeah, 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 at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't do that. No. It doesn't make any sense, mm-hmm. especially for high school hockey at that point. Uh, and uh, the other thing I would say is there's an eggnog, uh, uh, fe- I don't know, competition. It's an eggnog competition, yes. That's the wateriest eggnog, all of it. it yeah. It's it's not, it's it doesn't watery. look good. doesn't look good. Uh, there's a couple others, but I'll let you have them, Brand, because we struggled to find them. <laughs> yeah. I got um, plenty of these yeah, sure. eggnog. There's, um, uh, the coffee shop has a wonderful uh, thing where they give um, the coffee away for free to the troops, and it seems like there's a lot of uh, companies in this town that do that. And I would just say, Wonderful. Great. A, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> if you own a business in a town where it seems like everybody's in the military. Yeah. If you're giving everybody who's in the military free coffee yeah. in a town that is predominantly made up of people in the military, you're going to have a hard time maybe why you expanding can't your company the expansion. to the next door. Uh, and so just, uh, great, maybe half price. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, work, let's work around that. Let's still, uh, let's still make uh, some money Free coffee here. Tuesdays. Free coffee Tuesdays. Free coffee Tuesdays. Uh, I love yeah, that. Lot, lots of great ideas. Let's uh, think it through. Uh, and then they're, um, they're decor- they've decorated this, uh, this uh, event hall for the, the Holidays for Heroes event. And uh, they find out that a, a corporate event, uh, there's a double book situation. And so they they kick out the Holidays for Heroes event, which is already decorated. Decorated for, and it's for the troops. It's for the troops. I, for a corporate <laughs> event that seems to not have to decorate at all. They seem like they could probably go anywhere. Anywhere. And also, it's for the troops. You don't kick out the troops. You don't kick you out the troops. You politely ask the corporate event, hey, go to the barn. Go anywhere else. Go to the barn. So go to the said. barn. Where they move, they end up yeah, moving yeah, the yeah, event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's just, we've already decorated. We've mm-hmm. already decorated for the event. It just seems like it's not fair to them. They've gotten there early to decorate, to make this event um, awesome and festive. And the corporate people who are just going to show up all willy-nilly, uh, they still get to kick them out. It's not right. It's not right. Mm. It's not right for a, for a town that cares so much about the, and and also they, they say, hey, everybody's going to be at the holidays for heroes events, except that one. It's just corporate. one company. It's one company that's like no. <laughs> They're probably working on Christmas too. Talk about that's for the troops. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Honor our, our booking. We got a party. That's mm. right. Uh, Dan, you said you have a few. Somehow. I do. Uh, so I'm a little. Very, not just confused, concerned at how this holiday uh, for Heroes event got canceled. Because there are a lot of events that still go forward. Um, not to be outdone, eggnog competition. Right. Still sure. rolling. She announces a few more. Still rolling. Holiday for Heroes, where we support the troops. Can't pull it off. City Council says no. Wh- what? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, Why I not think, cancel all the other? Isn't that the most important event? And I would say, like, her, I, her, the mayor's reasoning was that, hey, all the, all the troops aren't going to be able to come home for the holidays. Doesn't that so make it, it more, doesn't make it so more it important? make people sad. But clearly, the town, the town still wants the event to, to happen. And so that's, I think, when you're a mayor, you just say, okay, yeah. we'll do it. Yeah, it, it just, just is a, a it. non, mm-hmm. like, just a non-starter. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, next, uh, just a few about the expansion, the contractor, that whole bit. They have a contractor they need to expand, and their contractor come to see how much it would knock a wall down. And he comes in, and he's in contractor gear. He's wearing that tan kind of coat-looking thing. Um, I don't know if he's got a hard hat on or not, but he's definitely, they made him look like a contractor. Uh, and he goes, well, I mean, this is a load-bearing wall. All right, a few questions. Like, I'm worried yeah. about the structure, if they're going to knock down a load-bearing wall, and I'm at all that good stuff. But fine, let's say they find a way to afford it. So they're having this conversation with a contractor. He looks like a normal human being with a beard. Not a big, bushy beard. Normal beard. Normal-sized dude. And the girl looks at him. Audrey looks at him and goes, Hey, have you ever played Santa Claus before? <laughs> One, weird question. Two, his response is even weirder. It is what I can only describe as a knowing laugh. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he's a contractor there to give a bid on knocking down a wall. Someone randomly asks him. He's not fat. He doesn't have a bushy beard. Have you ever played Santa? And he goes, <laughs> what are you doing, man? Like, <laughs> I, if knew I, had, I knew this was coming. If I had a nickel every I time knew this was coming. regular me is asked to play St. Nick, oh, man. 
I, it's just weird. It's weird to me. Next, I have a lot of education questions, not just about hockey practice, but what term paper are they working on over Christmas break? Like, they're working on a term paper, and it's clearly Christmas break. They said it. Maybe you said it because hockey practice had stopped. Yeah. I don't or they're going through school during. Second of all, what kind of history paper gets an A and the title of the paper is American History? Because that's the title of the paper. It was a summative paper of all of American history. Wow. And 800 pages. It looked like it was maybe three pages. I'm also worried. That's the principal? (laughs) Yeah. Lastly on this, the principal (laughs) has stormed down to the army in Brantford. (laughs) Which, okay, the army in Brantford to let him know how proud she is that her son has received, wait for it, his first day ever. (laughs) High school principal is the mom. He's never received an A before until this class. And he received that A for a paper entitled American History. Dummy, dum, dum. History. History. American history. Uh, I'll just say this. Yeah. When you're when you're good at tutoring, you're good at tutoring. <laughs> Lastly, they have the classic misunderstanding where Matt shows up and he sees uh, Luke Montgomery, uh, real estate of the star, real estate agent of the stars with Audrey at the bar having wine with his hand on hers. And he leaves. It's a classic Hallmark scene. He goes back and he goes, I saw you at the bar with Luke. I'm just going to step back. And she gets very indignant and goes, Ben or uh, uh, Matt, he's my realtor. Yeah. Okay, that is not a defense for going out for a drink and holding hands with your realtor. You guys have all bought a house before. Did you go out with your realtor? So you're saying... You're saying it's a no-go? It's a no-go. Jeff's did, hands were very soft. Do, you, uh, for his, do <laughs> you go out with your realtor at, uh, during the process and say, hey, can I buy you a drink? Maybe hold hands. He's, a, gr- he's a great guy. <laughs> that is, Audrey, that is not a defense for your actions, especially when your realtor is Luke Montgomery, real estate agent for the stars, because that guy is worth more than what you're giving him. He's great. You're leading him on. And because of that, you're a terrible person. I said it. Wow. That is... Them fighting words. He leads... She leads Luke on the whole movie. Does she not? I think he just comes on too strong. No, no, no. She leads him on. She's having a glass of wine with him, holding his hand, leading him on. I would say that scene... Yeah, I but nothing else in the movie I felt like... Earlier on in the movie, they agreed to see the thing next door. He goes, great, it's a date. And she smiles back at him. I think they're they're I just not as fun. Yeah. You guys are killing me. You're killing me. That's fine. Just have a blind eye to all of it. Turn a blind eye to all of it. That's fine. You be you. I'll turn two blind eyes, thank you. Yeah, you will. Um <laughs> it's time for what the Hawks is part of show we wonder what could have been, what would maybe happen. That'll give some clarity to the uh, events that transpired in this movie. I, I do have one. It does involve uh what's his name? Luke uh Luke Montgomery. Luke Montgomery. Um, he he decides he's going to um, surprise her, surprise her by getting the town together or whatever. But the, the, the scene in which he, he pulls the town together and uh, he says, guys, we're going to do something good here. And it's all going to happen due to my new friends. Matt and Matt <laughs> comes walking walking out like he's like, like a, a like show. a late night show. <laughs> hey, hey, what was he doing back there during yeah. that time? Or was it just perfect timing? That's what I'm interested in. But uh, it was great. Uh, big. I just want to know what he was doing uh, because it was a great introduction. And I wish you guys would introduce me every time I walked into a room like that, guys. I'm I need you a new friend, Brand. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Name that uh, theme song. Uh, Brian. Uh, Price, Price is right. right is what we were looking for. I, I wasn't allowed to watch daytime television. That's fair. Go. Uh, Even when you were sick? Yeah, no, wow. I had to watch PBS. I, I was sick. So Price pumped. is right. Yes. PBS. We, I had this thing where they were trying to teach you French. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. It's Christmas time. It's It's for the truth. Holiday for heroes. Holiday for heroes. Hi, I'm LeVar Burton. (laughs) Welcome to Holiday for Heroes. What's your what's the hallmark? Uh, I like... 
uh, or I have more questions about the toy soldiers mm. uh, in general. Like when it's did a bad bit? When it's did a- the soldiers have time to learn the toy soldier routine, especially since, since they had just yeah. gotten in? Yeah. Uh, and there's an entire choreographed dance. I have more questions about. It's not a bad bit. It's a terrible bit. It's not. It only works because it's a welcome home troop story. If that's just randos up there doing a toy soldier dance, they're grown men. It's one of the worst bits in the history. Also, of Matt gets done and he looks like he just ran a marathon. Yeah, he's, he's so sweating. sweating. He's just like, ah, welcome back, fellas. Is, he's been on desk duty he, he, for a so week. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. he's running every morning. Or at least yeah. one morning filmed for several yeah. instances. I stand by the toy soldier scene. Uh, I stand by M and M's toy soldiers. Did you ever play with toy soldiers? I mean, like GI Joes and stuff. Yeah, I had the little plastic figurines. Good talk. Uh, what else you got? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Yeah. No, it's a great movie. It's probably I hate the to best have movie a bunch, ever. But I'm going to be that guy. Uh, I do want to know what the difference between the s'more they ate and all other s'mores is. Like, there's this whole bit where he's like, stay here, give me 10 minutes. I'm going to make a s'more like you've never had. She tasted it. Clearly, she's in love with the s'more and with the guy. And then they talk about how this is the s'more to beat all s'mores. What makes that s'more different? Mm. I want to know. Do you guys know? I don't know. Uh, I do love s'mores. Yeah. It did look like it was a perfectly toasted marshmallow, so that could be part of it. Yeah. Maybe he's figured out. And it almost looked like there was uh, maybe some chocolate syrup uh uh, over top of the marshmallow, which would yeah. maybe be a fun splash. Well, I, uh, I hear you. I also want to know if uh, Mark Evans, Sergeant Mark Evans, is A, independently wealthy, and B, does he have his PhD? Because in this particular movie, he gets offered a job teaching at VMI, Virginia Military Institute. What, that is a college. Now, I could be mistaken. If it's a high school, too, you let me know. But if he's going to teach at VMI, he ha- in history, has to have a Ph.D. And then second of all, does he have so much money? I will say, though, he took a kid who's never gotten an A before, and he got an A. Oh, yeah. him an a. And, and, he's pretty and darn good. The American history. But does he have so much money that he can turn down Army salary and a VMI teaching position to teach high school? Because we all know that that pays bukus of money. So much money. Maybe he's been really socking it away. Maybe he has. He doesn't a have high, a wife for high kids. ROI. Um, and then uh, lastly, uh, well, I guess that's kind of it. I, I do want to, like, I can't believe Hallmark made a movie where he just bails on the army. It just is very unlike them to make a movie where he doesn't take a job working in the military at all. Um, I'm not upset about yeah. it. No, listen, but he, you, it, you served, you served your you 20 crushed years. it, you yeah. went to war. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, fall, you do fall you, fall man. Enough. Um, that's great. And then I want to I want to make sure I, I make this as clear as I can. We need to find a girl for Luke Montgomery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Yeah. Wh- whomever it may be, yeah. we got to find. It. Maybe it's the redhead at the coffee Maybe. shop. But Maybe. that guy is too good of a guy. Too good. And at, you know, at one point in the movie, Audrey makes fun of him. He spends more time on his hair than I just I spend on my like. I just. We need to find Luke a, a, a gal. We need, we we need, we need to find him one. We do. He's a good mm-hmm. man. He's he a good is. man. He maybe holds hands a little bit too soon, but. He's a good man's hard to find. It, it is. That's exactly right. Um, and speaking of things that are too hard to find or not. Mm. Hey, guys, you know about Patreon? <laughs> I was trying to make some sort of connection, but I couldn't. Uh, it's time for the Patreon of the episode um, because we're doing multiple episodes a week. Um, we always talk about our, our patrons and how wonderful they are. And Panda does one heck of a job of yeah, research and investigating and diving deep. And so, Dan, tell everybody about who our patron of the, the episode is today. Um, it's actually a two for again, if you can wow. believe it. Wow. Um, Aaron Keith and Genevieve Clark. Oh. Aaron Keith and Genevieve Clark. And you were telling me all about them. Man, I was. And because, it, I tell you what, they are something special. They're a dynamic duo you don't want to ever sleep on because uh, they take things to the next level. In fact, they started a company called Take It to the Next Level. And what does that do? Well, they take things to the next level, like anything. Uh, Buildings, they build an extra level. So basically, (laughs) if your company wants to expand in any way, shape, or form, they come in. Not just companies, though. So let's say say I uh, have a car. I drive in with my car, and I go. They take your car to the next level. Is it like a pimp my ride, like X to the Z exhibit? It seems like they need to have a lot of knowledge about almost everything to do that. You 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 said that they could add a level to a building. Yes. So which of the two is more more like really spearheading this? Whose idea was it? Well, it was Genevieve. Genevieve. Yeah. She really was the one spearheading this. She her nickname back in high school was "Take It to the Next Level." No, I, you can't just say the same 
Like, but that's where it started, Dan. I'm not telling you anything. So I'm instead telling of you, calling her Genevieve, three syllables, right. they called her Take, take it, it to the, the Next, next level. level. Wow. It was a long nickname. It wasn't a particularly they took good her, one. They took her name to the next level, really. They did. If you think wow. about it. And that, they can do it with anything and you Aaron want. And Aaron Keith, just along for the ride, she more of a brains of the operation or what? She she runs so the day-to-day -day operations. She's more on the construction side. I'm interested. So, like, I have my wedding ring right here. Right. Yeah. And, oh, uh, it's fine, but I'd like to take that to the next level. They turn into gold. They they take what my, is gold? Oh, take, what is gold? They take it to platinum. What is platinum? Uh, they can't do a lot more. <laughs> they can't do anything. You said Wait, everything. I hold on. You said they could take it to they the next level. They can't change the metal anymore, but they add a whole bunch of bling to it. They add diamonds. Yep. What if, his it's already gold? Yep. what if it's already gold with diamonds? Platinum with diamonds. <laughs> they melt it down. They build a, a palace. <laughs> <laughs> they build the biggest rig you've ever seen. Mm. It's actually a hula hoop at that point. Well, I, I'm confused, but I'm in. <laughs> yeah, they say it's a great business. business. It I will great. say it's not turned to profit as of yet. Are, because they just keep taking things. Can I, can the I ask you this? Every time they get money, they try to put it back in. The right, yep. next. Yeah, Surely yeah. they're both $100 patrons, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they have not taken it to that level yet. Really? So they're both actually, why have they not? Well, that personally, they, ask them. I actually emailed them to take uh, Dave the Homer to the next level. They've done nothing. So I feel like. Well, you say that, but honestly, they emailed me and they told me to tell this story. And I feel like this story's taken to the next level. Now, keep in mind, I emailed them right before we did this episode. Well, I emailed them <laughs> while we were doing this episode. And then they told me this story. And you I took it to the next level. You were strangely silent there for a while. So I was. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. this has really elevated our craft. Uh -huh. One one other How did they take the podcast to the next level? They said that You said they emailed you. Uh, they, they emailed me and they they gave me some pointers on okay. how to be better. Such as? Well, first of all, uh, just they said do it. And then. I'm done with this. <laughs> What do you got? I have one other okay. question yeah. really quick. Just another situation. So I'm about to go to lunch. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'm thinking uh, just something quick and easy. Sure. Um, but I, I don't have a lot of time, but I would like to take it to the next level. Right. What do I do? How, how, like, do they, do they open a fast food steak place? Like, what, what, have they, what can they do? Because I, I don't have a lot of time. What are you craving? Now steak. Yeah, yeah. Now so they, they have a, a, a speedy, speedy steak. Speedy so, steak. So at will... Like, I just told them, guys, I want a fast steak. They are already getting the chef to fire up the oven. Phenomenal. Or grill. Phenomenal. They need to be $100 patrons. <laughs> guys, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Thank you for making this movie. Um, and we will be back uh, tomorrow with another episode and then another episode after that. Uh, and then a handful of more after that. But until then, may we be the first to wish you Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast presented by Friendly TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina at the flagship property studios on East Coffee Street. For more information, go to deckthehallmark.com. Building a stronger financial foundation? Good plan. Northwestern Mutual's Guide to Good Financial Planning can help you balance spending and saving, set goals, and start creating the life you want to be living. You'll learn how the tools in your financial plan reinforce each other to help you minimize taxes and offset potential risks. Grow your confidence by strengthening your finances today at northwesternmutual.com slash good plan. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.